If you take a look at the bid to cover ratio, that's going to be the telltale sign about what markets are looking at for inflation. How would you be trading it? Sure. I mean, we've been positive on inflation for some time, and finally the prints have now moved upward in the direction uh, that we've been expecting. There are a few differences from last year where the currency was about depreciated about 10% during uh, 2017, which I think is contributing to upside inflation surprises, as of course a bunch of base effects which are reversing. So the way that we would trade would be long break-evens, which is essentially long tips and short treasuries, expecting a widening of, of the inflation differential um, towards 230 from about 215 on uh, 30 year. What we haven't seen, though, uh, despite the fact that we've seen the rise in yields, that in break-evens have kind of pretty much not participated in that over the last uh, week or so. What did you make of that? Sure. I mean, they kind of front ran some of the mm -hmm. move. If you look from mid-December to uh, the middle of January, 10-year tips break-evens moved up by about 20 basis points, pretty much in line with Treasury yields. Since then, it's been more of a real yield story, real yields rising quite aggressively, um, and that, I think, has filtered through to broader asset markets. So help me, I don't trade in these things. Uh, what about the buy the rumor, sell the fact? I mean, is it possible that, in fact, people will cram in too fast into these, in fact, they'll become overvalued? Well, I think that there is a risk of that, um, but I don't think that we're there yet. Um, because we've had a few full storms on inflation over the past five years or so, and they haven't really proved fulfilling as such. We think there is at least a six-month run of upside mm. inflation just from technical base effects and seasonality and some energy pass through from the last few months. But beyond that, with growth where it is, fiscal stimulus, you know, at high or the top of the cycle compared to in the past where you're normally in a weaker economy, I think uh, a very strong labor market suggests that pressures should feed through to prices, especially with a weaker dollar.